Hello, my name is Barry Olney from InCircuit Design. This is a quick overview of how to define multiple differential pairs on a PCB. When designing a high-speed modulator printed circuit board, it's always necessary to use multiple technologies on the same substrate, meaning that you may have, say, a DDR2 device or a DDR3, and then you have USB. Now, the requirements for DDR2, for instance, are 50 ohm characteristic impedance and 100 ohms differential impedance, whereas for USB, it's 50 ohms characteristic and 90 ohms differential impedance. So the issue is how do we accommodate both of these technologies on the one substrate. So first of all we'll look at the ICD stack up planner to work out how to do this. We'll go to a default 12 layer stack up and um, you'll see that the stack up is pretty well matched already for um, 50 ohms characteristic impedance and 100 ohms differential impedance. So what we'll do first of all is we'll rename the first pair to DDR2 since it's already set for 100 and we use 100 ohm differential. And we'll create another differential pair and we'll rename this to USB and we'll make this 90 ohm differential. And of course we could just keep on adding these and call another one, say DDR3. And for instance with DDR3, Micron recommend that you have 80 ohm differential impedance and 40 ohm characteristic impedance. So you may have to include all of these on the, sum, on the one substrate. So first of all, we'll just look at these two to start with the DDR2 and the USB. So we have 100 ohms set up I mentioned and 50 ohms roughly for the characteristic impedance. So the, um, the problem is here how to accommodate the 90 ohm differential impedance on a 100 ohm board. So how we go about doing that is that we keep the dielectric constant and thickness uh, the same, the copper thickness has to remain the same, but we can change the trace width and clearance to adjust our differential impedance. So if we say um, take the microstrip layer, trace width up to 5, oops, up to 5 um, mil uh, width, we then have 48 ohms uh, characteristic impedance, which is around 50 and 90 ohms differential impedance. So that works well for the, for the microstrip. And for the strip line, we need to also uh, have a play with some of these numbers here. So we'll try increasing the trace width again to five, and that gives us 48 ohms and 91 ohms, which is pretty close. And we'll try changing the clearance to 10 as well which gives us 48 and 89, which is even closer. I like to keep the clearance about tri twice the width of the trace. The reason for that is when you go around an obstacle like a wire, the impedance will only increase by about 3 ohms if you go from say 10 mil to 25 mil. Whereas if you have a 5-5 trace spacing and you increase the, the clearance around a, a wire or an obstacle, the impedance can blow out by 25%. So it's always good practice to have the clearance about twice the trace width. So there you go, we'll just change these other layers now. And you can see that we have uh, basically you know, 48 and 89 ohms uh, on all the layers. So for all the characteristic impedances, we have around 50 ohms for the differential impedance is around 90. So that's for USB, for um, 100 ohm DDR2, we have 50, 51, and 90 ohms. Okay, so that's just a quick overview of how to set up the ICD stack up planner to use different technologies on the same substrate. Thank you very much.